Good to watching Fidi on Demand of our weekly Horizon Forbidden West stream where every week I want to just uh, play along with the end game, farm some items, increase my damage, upgrade new items, etc. etc. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, okay, that's interesting. But I want to start with uh, the f uh, like showcasing that one kill build I um, made a video on, which you can watch on the channel right now. Searching for my mods here, which are over here. And we need the other stealth mod as well. Uh, 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 uh. I see some... Zamaira saying, Horizon, my claw strider's apex. I cannot ride. What can I do? Hey, Daniel, good to see you. Yeah, you cannot, like, override an... Is your mount an in an apex? That would be That would be kind of weird. I don't think that's the case, right? And I need a ranged stealth archer on this from the Utari Winterweave. And then we are good to go. And we got stealth soccer active. Okay, let's uh, let's try this out. So what I've been doing for these videos as well is... Kind of... Um, make sure that I... We're going to try on very hard. Uh, let's do this one on very hard as well. Uh, I want to do normal first and then quickly go up because some machines die in one hit for, for, uh, uh, on very hard. Like behemoths are very easy to kill, but others uh, are harder. So yeah, let's uh, get our mount first. Again, we have a defensive mount, so otherwise the, the claw strider will immediately go and attack the tremor tusk over there. So we're gonna do this to get the extra increases. How's everyone doing? Then I'm gonna do this. And uh, we're gonna drink that overdrop potion as well. Oh, switching to the propelled. I think we have to like move a bit further away so we got the long range damage as well. I've not been playing Gran Turismo, Daniel. It's not really my uh, type of game. Okay, I I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. That was a nice one kill. So what I then do is reload from lost safe. Otherwise, we don't have to full fellow search again. Also, for videos, that's super handy. So I don't have to. Uh, yeah, then you have to go back to your uh, quick save. The auto saves uh, are after the fight. Hey, Michael D. Good to see you. How's your week been? Hey, Nadal. Good to see you as well. Good to see Niels there in the chat too. That's awesome. Yeah, it's been going well. Um, at 6 o'clock, I can say what I've done most weekend. <laughs> so we have to kind of wait for that. Uh, but yeah, been doing well. Been doing well. It's kind of the... We're, we're in this uh, crazy... Oh, wow. I'm like... At a, at a completely different spot, it feels. That's interesting. Uh, let's go back to... Another machine we can kill in one shot. Let's go to that behemoth. That's like just super nice. And I'm always out of freaking fast travel packs. So we're going to craft some new ones. Uh, which would be nice if, if you press down. You immediately also can craft the things that you have selected. Okay, we got 18 again. We're good to go. Good to travel. To the behemoth side. Which over. Does the overdraw damage factor in special shots like or regular shots? I think so. Because if I, for example, do this. Uh, the propelled. You still see that it charges up, right? So I do think it counts. But I'm not 100% sure. I did try some things. But uh, of course the uh, sky killer does have... Yeah, that's the overdraw. So I think it's similar to uh, that R1 attack where you like see the engine going. I think that's when it's uh, ready to be deployed. Hey everyone, hey Gregsar, huge week. Dawn of Ragnarok says flat. That's right. Have you watched the Batman? Not yet, Daniel. But uh, we'll likely do it. I'm not sure if I will watch it. Like, 
I heard good things about it. I, I totally want to go. But uh, not sure. Because it's like a month and a half before it like drops on HBO, right? We actually did not have HBO in the Netherlands until this week, so uh, I will be subscribing. Want to see Peacemaker? It's right, Peacemaker or Peacekeeper, because we have the Dying Light faction, which like the Peacekeeper or the Peacemaker. I think Peacekeepers are Dying Light, and Peacemaker is. I always get the two uh, mixed, mixed up. Hey, Gusper, thanks a lot for your uh, for becoming a member. The game is ama amazing. I got the platinum yesterday. Nice thing. Okay, we want to be go a little bit further here. Make sure we got uh, the long range damage, and then I think we're good to go. Drinking the overdrop potion, and now we're good to go. There is something I miss. Ah, I I completely have the wrong build on. Okay, let's do that again. You should watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I totally want to. I totally want to. Any tips on how to reach level 50 because I finished the game? Yeah, the rebel camps go pretty fast if you just go and follow them. But really, if you just do everything, if you try and get the platinum, you will be 50 before you know it. It's not really needed to, to do anything in the game. Yeah, I totally have the wrong build. And that that's where you really see that... Uh, the builds really impact the game, and there are way more customizations of the options this time around. Like I, I don't think I even had like the mods on the Sky Killer yet. So let's quickly uh, put them on. And then I will just save, so I always have them. But I want to try other things as well. We might do the arena. We haven't really done that last week, so I want to kind of do the arena and arena stream. Always nice. Okay, so I think we're we're kind of good to go. Let's summon our mount. Get the Stealth Stalker ready. Peacemaker's very funny. Yeah, I, I, I love the Suicide Squad, like the second movie. Did not watch the first one because only heard bad things about it. And I loved it. It was like kind of a big surprise for me. So, uh, but yeah, also a big fan of the boys. So kind of like the, the superhero stuff that doesn't take itself too seriously. I might actually prefer that over the uh, real sort of... Uh, more serious superhero stuff. Yeah, see how we got the overdraw. Let's see what this is, does. Let's see the difference. Oh no, the Claw Strider is... Okay, Claw Strider. Okay, now we have to wait for our stamina to go back up. I think we will make it though before the end of the Stealth Stalker. Come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, that's a fun build you can do. Hey, Rahul. Well, Rise of Forbidden West DLC rumors, Rex, are, are they true? We don't know, but there are rumors of a state of play in... Um, uh, there are rumors of a state of play happening either this week or a few weeks after the awards, like in March. And... If they really want to do like a DLC store or something, then I want to strike when the iron is hot, right? Like do it when people are still playing the game. So if they have like some post-launch plans, I hope that we hear it in that stream. But uh, we kind of don't know at this point. So I think I'm going to focus on upgrading a weapon that I just can't wait to use more. And that's the Finker's Pride. You get this from all the hunting grounds. So uh, let's go to a... Um, let's go to a shelter and see what the requirements are for the upgrades. Oh, I'm gonna turn off the Babylon's Fall <laughs> uh, bots because we we don't have to. We don't have. That's not active anymore. Thunderjaw challenge. We can totally we can totally kill a Thunderjaw. We might actually need to kill a Thunderjaw. So these are active. Where are you from, uh, Joraptor? I'm from the Netherlands. Actually, where they also made the game. I'm, uh, I'm from the Amsterdam, where uh, yeah, Gorilla is uh, situated as well. Expired Cranian says in Dutch, Is the game really that bad? Metacritic 
doesn't seem too happy. The game has an 89 on Metacritic. What are you smoking? What are you smoking? Now, it's really good. Uh, I, of course, also made a review for if you haven't watched it yet. It will totally, like, end up being one of the best games of the year, for sure. But yeah, I do think that they would have a shot last year. Because it was first, of course, planned for 2021. For, um... Yeah, but they delayed it to avoid crunch, which is a good reason. So, yeah, developers could have a Christmas break. Um, but I do think that in 2021, if, if this game came out last year... I think it would actually have a good shot at getting, um... At, at getting the Game of the Year award, but I don't think it will happen this year. Which is a shame, because I think it got robbed in um, in 2017 when the first game came out as well. That was, of course, also a very busy year with the Switch coming out, all those Nintendo games. Um, I forgot some uh, Richwood. I just have no Richwood on me. That's not That's not a good thing. Only with spear attacks. Okay, Aaron. Careful what you wish for, Dor, though. I'm gonna kill the Dreadwing here first. Get some of the Dreadwing Fangs. Uh, we're gonna switch the game to very hard. Uh, and then kill the Dreadwing. I think I'm going to go for my OG build. Yeah, should, should be easy enough. I don't have to change a lot for that, which is nice. Yo, Dreadwing, how you doing? This is really, as I said last week, I think as well, one of the most impressive machines I think they did. Whee! Okay, blind attack. I think we dodged that. And there we go. By the way, let me know if you already finished the game or not, because I'm curious... I want to talk about some DLC theories, but I can totally see if people did not finish the game yet. Normally when uh, a flying machine gets a status effect, they drop down, but the Dreadwing does, do does not. Dreadwing has other plans, which is fine. I like it on the ground even more, like uh, some of the attacks are kind of scary. Is it the Legend Skittles, say hey, Sekirok? Good to see you. How, how have you been? And have you played Horizon already? If so, stop what you're doing right now and send me some of your pictures because you're of course known for, in my opinion, one of the best pictures for Horizon Zero Dawn I've ever seen. Wrecking house here. I'm not even using my Valor Surge. Oh no. Now I'm kind of scared again. This is like... These blast attacks. We have a lot of acid flying around. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. We got a... Leap Lasher. Well, what's the name again? Oh. What? No, I never scanned it. I don't believe you. I scanned that one. That's like a very old machine. Okay, let's goodbye to you. Yes, boom. I was so surprised when I saw this one because this was what really one they kept a secret, which is nice. There we go. Also, do the Dreadwing and Storm uh, Stormbird, please. As like a challenge, we 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 already had the Dreadwing. Does this count? We need one more so we can uh, go back. We need two more actually. But if I come back later, there might be more machines. Be well, Skittles. Sure, I can. Should I email you via PSN, Twitter, or Instagram? I hope you still follow me on Instagram. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not really a big Instagram like user, so you can email me input at drap.com on Twitter. I, I I see most things on Twitter, and um, yeah, PSN you can do as well. Just what whatever works for you. But yeah, show me those shots. We might actually do the shots at the end of like update videos again. Every Wednesday they seem to drop an update at least so far. So maybe uh, 
Yeah. Maybe that's something we can do. That should be fun. Did you play Elden Ring yet? Yes, I did. But like it's the worst release timing ever. Who's launching a game one week after Horizon? And like... Not everyone cares, of course, but I know a lot of people watching the channel. The big Valhalla DLC dropping this week as well. Like, it was really the worst timing. But, uh... I, I want to go back to the game, for sure. It's just that... If you want to make, like, the end game Horizon kind of videos... Let, let's switch, by the way. I want to I wanna use the, the power shots. And then, like, jump into a game like Elmer Ring. It's pretty hard because that game requires you to also know a lot of stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's just kind of hard to combine it all. So that's why I'm happy that we got a, a team going. And that uh, Dennis is now working on Elmer Ring. But also as a game, like, uh, I got the collector's edition. I'm not sure if you're seeing it. It's like standing behind me. It's like the, the small little statue there on the horizon box. So yeah, I, I want to play. It's just that I need to I need, I need to, s to find the right time. If, like, after Dawn of Ragnarok, after I finish that, and I have, like, a good idea of what that DLC has to offer, and I got most things that I want, then it's... Pr Proper Elden Ring time for me. That's kind of where I'm at. Hey, we got another one of you. Hello. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, damn. Oh, I think Diamond meant the melee. Oh, damn. We, we lost all our... Um... Ah, okay, let's, uh, let's go back. These for you. Boom. Okay, that's a one-hit kill. That's nice. I think uh, time and meant Stormbird and Dreadwing with only melee attacks. Yeah, that's a bit harder. Okay, that was a, a really bad throw. See if we can like hit the. Oh, I want to hit the belly. Okay, yeah, that, that did work out. Hey, 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 Mail, good to see you. It's that shards are hard to get by in Horizon Forbidden West. Yeah! Uh, one of the tactics I've been using now, so in my videos I said killing a Slither Fang. But um, if you focus on killing a Tremor Tusk, and you have... And you have the... Um, you have the uh, easy loot on in the menu, which kind of kind of a cheat. But yeah, if you want to farm money anyway, you want to just get to the fun parts. Let's just say with the with the, the the fast travel packs. Like, I could either like walk 90 meters and go to the fast travel pack, but I don't like that, so I'm wasting all my fast travel packs. But yeah, if I then can like kind of cheat, turn on a feature to get easy money, I will do that because. Yeah, I don't I don't like walking walking like a few meters to get the freaking thing. I just want to fast travel. I want the golden fast travel pack. I want it. Which is better, Elden Ring or Horizon? I think it, I think both games are amazing, but they are like the you can totally make a case for both games. <laughs> See, I'm like I'm like running out of metal shards all the time as well. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to upgrade this. Now we're gonna uh, do what what people uh, wanted to see. So we're gonna switch to the Osram Artificer, Critical Strike. I don't know. If maybe okay. Then I'm gonna rock the this one. Only melee attacks. Which is totally like a, a solid tactic you can do. We are playing on very hard though. So that's going to be more challenging. But let's go to one of the Thunderjaw sites. 
I found your Horizon for, for, uh, Forbidden West builds really helpful because I'm not well first in the game. So thanks, hell, faithful Lenners. Thank you. Thank you. Rolf the Gamer says three more days for Dawn of Ragnarok. That's right. Aaron says, I did every side mission and main mission and still missing one person in the notebook. I think that's an issue. I think that's actually... But that also might hint at DLC. But yeah, uh, I think everyone is missing that. Uh, there was also a video from uh, um, one of the like speedrunners from Horizon Zero Dawn who's also working on speedruns for, uh, for Forbidden West. He made a video, Elkier is his name, he made a video on the um, the 100% which seems bugged right now if you go to the uh, progression. I I'm not like... I'm not really, I, I know that I still have some things left in the game, but I'm focused on upgrading and I don't think that counts towards the uh, the game progression. But, uh, yeah, there seems to be a problem with not being able to get the 100%. Okay, only melee, right? Let's see. Let's see. Thunder jaw. Thunder, thunder jaw. Thunder, thunder jaw. Whee! Oh, we can, like, maybe... Come here! Come here! There you are! Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh, wow! I got it on both of them. Huh? Oh, that. Okay. okay. Let's go. Oh, on his machine gun. He did get hit there. Never underestimate the tail. Okay, we can take out. Lens one. Okay, and now it's time. Now let's quickly hit this. Ha! Did not see that coming. Yeah, if you do a fellow search at the moment an enemy is about to attack, then, um, yeah, you, you just ignore the damage. And now we can build up these marks, but we got to kind of be careful here and then for some reason totally don't have enough. Thunder Jaw is super annoying because he's like stomping all the time, but... Wish you, wish you would like destroy parts of the machine very easily with this as well. Okay, one more hit. Uh, we do have the uh, energy still, so we can do this. from your attacks yeah I'm out of uh, let's do it like this touch that's that's one part that it's kind of ah, crappy on a uh, very hard they you you need more than one smoke bomb to have the effect It's half health. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be real tough. See this? Ah, oh, okay, this is enough. But I'm really lacking any protection here. Oh. No, oh, what am I eating? Okay, this might actually not be that bad. But we do have one on the tail. Let's see if I can hit it with the hunter bow down. Okay, it's already gone. Ha! 
Can't hit me now. Maybe we can throw it down though. Yeah, without... I think we, we still need to focus on the disc launchers. Okay, okay, okay. We got a nice wall there protecting us. Oh no. Oh no. We got more protection now. Damn. Transmog and a lock-on feature is what people want. I don't know about lock-on, but transmog, yeah. I really hope they do that. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Where did I hit it? Wow. That's a weird spot, but I'll take it. Ooh! Almost dead. Oh! <laughs> and then getting killed. That feels like Elmery. Fighting a boss and then getting killed by a smaller machine. Ah, oh, no, I'm so... Do I have anything? I only have rocks. No. No, I don't want to get killed by the machine guns. I have nothing. I do see the the fellas, the resonator blast though. Uh, hit it! Yes! Throw rocks at him. <laughs> that would have been my last resort. <laughs> uh, wasted everything, but we got him. We got him. Can you access the Fender at the Lost Vegas Ruins? That's actually a good point. I uh, checked on the fe uh, Defender in Las Vegas Ruins. And I think he was gone for me. Let me check. It was the last time I checked. It's been a while. Been a while, a few days ago. I got the first Horizon after they released the Complete Edition. Yeah, I totally think they will do something s similar when all the DLCs uh, are out. Your health is my biggest. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I went to the barber like a few weeks ago. It feels like, but... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. Do you think Valhalla Year 2 will get a another crossover besides Cassandra? Yeah. Because he was here, right? But he's gone from me as well. Which is interesting. But it's not... It's not him, right? No. Because this is the one for the... Uh, for the uh, ruins in the game. Still need to do all of those. Oh, here. He's like on, on another spot. Yeah, I think it's him then. Did they change that then? I think they changed that. I decided to do very hard for my first playthrough and it took me 20 tries to take down a ton of job. I was not expecting that. Not yeah, I might actually want to do like a um, a replay. I, I would prefer it to wait for New Game Plus. But I might actually, because we don't know when New Game Plus is going to hit. We might actually do a uh, like a, a new playthrough and then on very hard and then stream that every week or something. That might be fun. You're a nice friendly man. Thank you for your stream. The game is wondrous and fascinating. Thanks, Kia. Appreciate the kind words. Have you tried the Legendary Shredder? It's pretty OP with the right mods. 
That's one of the only legendary weapons I don't have yet. Dennis uh, got it for our video. But yeah, that's of course get, uh, going after all the runes. Like I still need uh, a few of the runes. Um, but yeah, like one of the, the weapons I want to like use right now is the one that we just upgraded a bit. I will throw it to you, by the way, in a moment as to what, what I should do next. Um, because I'm like kind of kind of a fan of this. <laughs> you can enhance it even more with a Feather Search, which might actually also be cool. Okay, we're, we're still on very hard, right? Let's see. Sure, this is a Burrower. Let's see if we can like put it down. And then it will just... So you can like stun a machine with a, a shock arrow. And then put down the stagger beam. And then it will just melt the machine. Goodbye. La 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 la. Maybe we can like even do it like this. But yeah, then they will... Oh, never mind. They will just drop on the ground as well. But yeah, then it they will sometimes have a hard time like getting. So yeah, I think it's like smarter to, or maybe throw them on the ground first, and then do this. Uh, you have to like put them down manually. See, otherwise they will just run through it and yeah, take a few hits. So you want to like make sure that they are So yeah, that's kind of fun. It's not really that good on like uh, more hardcore machines, but uh should be fun to try out. So that that's why I want to like upgrade that a little more. And I think for that we need... I don't have it uh, equipped yet. The reason he's over here is because of the second boomer side quest. Ah, but... that That's weird because I... Because I, I think they changed that, Joyce. Because... When I... Because that wasn't the case for me before. Like, first, the second boomer side quest would... I think only be in the open world. And not start here. So they might... Maybe maybe they changed that. Because I did the boomer side mist quest a long time ago. And I still think this guy is not the, the seller. But I might be wrong about that. But he, he clearly is according to the icon. Okay, so what should I do? Should I should we do some arena? Pre type arena in the chat. Should I upgrade? So then we're gonna kill some machines, get some upgrade materials. Or I can, for example, do a ruin. So let me know in the chat. In the meantime, I'm going to the workbench. I see... Uh, Bonkies always say arena. You can, you, you can only use one Vela Search at the right time. That's right. Yeah. I think we will get a Dreadwing mount eventually. They are not really like... Um, they're not really like... They, one of the reasons we don't have, like for example, a Tremor Tusk is the machine is too large. So that would create a lot of complications. I do I did wish they we would have more mounts, though, than the, the, the three ground mounts that we got. But... Uh, like, I think a Ravager would be kind of cool as well. And not, like, completely out of the question. So, yeah, we need a Frost Claw without killing the uh, the sack. And uh, a Thunderjaw primary nerf. How about a game of arena! I see a lot of people say Arena. Yor, do you think... Do you know anything on New Game Plus? Sadly, not Jan. I'm looking at both, Gaslighter. Love your work. Thanks, GNMX. Appreciate it. Upgrades. Let's see some spl slaughter spine action. We might do need it. 
Okay, we're gonna do one arena match and then uh, continue with the upgrades. Um, let's uh, let's go to. I have not been up recording by the way, so I'm gonna. I think we're we're going for a solid 30 minutes already. So let's do it like that. Are we really already going for 35 minutes? I don't believe it, but it's really too. Time flies. Yeah, so we need a ton of jaw and stuff like that, but we're going to the arena first. When do you think God of War Ragnarok is coming out? So, again, there are rumors for a, uh, uh, a state of play this month, and that might actually contain God of War stuff as well. I think they're aiming for that end of September, that, that leaked release date. I, I think that's true, so end of September is my uh, bet. And it would be nice to know when that game comes out, because if they're going to do another Ghost of Tsushima... So drop it in July or something. I hope not. But yeah, that would really screw up all our uh, all our holiday plans. <laughs> um, why am I going to Defender? I don't know. But we're going to the arena. Let's see if we have like a fun one I can try and perfect. Uh, uh, I, I do think. I do think. I do want to like put all my... Uh, my mods on. I think I'm going for for close range mods actually actually for the arena. I think that's actually smarter. So th those are like around here, right? Critical chance, draw speed. I likely have to buy them. Oh here, yeah, we do have like close range, but those are blue. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going for the stealth ones because we are going to spam a lot of smoke bombs. Uh, let's try crit chance. Let's try crit chance. And I'm going for... I do think this one is the best option. Stealth ranged is actually kind of good. Yeah. Feller search might actually be nice, but... Mm. Uh, let, let, let's do uh, the critical... Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try something, but I think it will be fun. Let's see if we got everything ready. Okay, let's craft some of these. It's of course cheaper at the workbench. Is PS5 capture better or Elgato? Personally, I, I think both are great. Uh, Elgato, of course, depends on the settings you have, for example, in... Um, uh, in OBS. But personally, we use a lot of PS5 capture. It, it actually allows us to very easily just... Because I sit on this desk, like, for a long time each day. And when I, like, want a game for a long time, that's why I always, like console games over PC games like I want to chill out I want to be on a on a chair or on a couch in the living room and with the PS5 capture you can record 1080p 60 FPS and the only downside is because it looks great it works very well you don't need a capture device at all so it's great the only downside is that if the game crashes you lose your footage so I hope they fix that but uh, apart from that it's great Okay, Stormbird. You ready for this? Like, I already have some pretty wild times. 40 seconds for this Stormbird. I'm not sure if we're gonna uh, exceed that. Of course, everything you use in the arena doesn't matter. So we can just... Do it like this. Oh. Yeah, I do need two on very hard. Oh. Ah, it's a cooldown. Yeah, smoke bombs are pretty, pretty bad on uh okay it's gonna drop down 
Okay, 40 seconds I did that with my warrior bow build. Huh. Someone in the audience just got a, uh, a spike. I don't have the right tools here for a very hard uh, storm build. Oh wow, I don't even have the right materials. Okay, we're not well prepared. We can still make it though. This takes a while. Downside of the warrior bow, not a lot of range. I mean, it's still having a hard time, but... Uh you were in the real version of this arena at least 10 people would die around it each round right <laughs> yeah we're playing now on the very hard difficulty zero two i tried using my charger valor search in the arena found out it didn't work um yeah you you start the arena encounter always without valor search charges so so you have to build that up you can activate it, but you have to build it up. Like if I if I go to um, seeing you in the like one of the one of my tactics that I I used very often in the arena, I do think that like having stealth perks on weapons doesn't really matter. So we're gonna switch that. I do think though that the uh, close range that they, those are nice, but we're going for the explosive. And then let's uh, do the close range here. Because you're in people's face all the time. Because really, like, the Sky Killer, that's totally still the best weapon. Stealth ranged, not needed. We're going for Feller Search. Like, having a Feller Search... Monster. Um, yeah, that, that builds up the Feller, of course, faster. Um... We're gonna we're gonna upgrade some things in a moment here. I do wanna get some stuff from my stash because we weren't really well prepared. Uh stash. Reminds me of the battle bots, a great show. We actually watched that recently. <laughs> like one uh where people would make their own bots and then fight each other, right? <laughs> Any words on transmog feature? Sadly not, well, but uh, I think they are aware that we want it. Uh, okay, so... No, machines aren't going anywhere. I don't know how you did it, but you captured kept them pretty well. I think we are good to go now, though. I might want to, like, put the crit chance back on this one. And then some uh, regular damage. And concentration damage, that's fine. 
do I on my purple below that? We have the frost. Okay, I think we're we're better prepared you... this time. Let's go for one of the final ones. I loved that you can fight corruptors in the arena. That's just awesome. But I'm kind of scared though. Apex Frost Claw. Uh, let's do. The two Scorchers, the Ring of Fire, which is kind of annoying. How long have you been playing? Long time. I think I already reached over 100 hours. How has your, your game been? Stable. Been encountering lots of bugs while playing after the let's patch. I haven't really encountered that. The only like kind of bugs I had uh, were during that Machine Master playstyle. That's when I encountered quite a lot of bugs. Not down yet? Close the head. Oh, whoa, I'm not really paying attention to my. Uh... Really, with the cooldown, smoke bomb on very hard. It's, it's not nice. Oh my god. Very hard, that's pretty wild. Oh, Howard, you got a shout out. Should I actually use the Forge Fall sh uh, Sharp Shot bow? Yes, yes, you should. Okay, I think, we, I think we, got, we got some arena. Yeah, it is kind of sad though that there's no real reason to play the arena anymore if you already completed everything, which makes sense. You completed everything, but still. Like, I'm sure you have the, the leaderboards, you can go for that, but... You can't really use your own uh, gear in that, so that kind of sucks. Okay, let's uh, go back to the upgrading uh, we kind of had. We had the, the Thunder Job primary nerf we needed. Uh, and then I'm going to show you why... Um, the Sharp Shot Bow is really good. Oh, what time is it? I think it's like... Not in real life, but in the game. Okay, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. That's fine, then. Let's uh, go to... Let's use that Forge Fall Sharp Shot Bow. Got it fully, fully upgraded. I got the long range on it. I, I only need to put the, the stealth mods on it. Long range, stealth damage. Yeah, that's, that's about right. Okay, there we go. Ah, damn. We, we didn't have the full... Um, this will still hurt, but I don't think it will insta-kill him. What? Okay, let's try that again. Huh? The stunner jaw... Invincible. Oh, now I don't have enough. I think I'm missing something. Let's see if we, we get him. Okay, he, he doesn't. He's not noticing us anymore, so we can get some extra hits in now. But yeah, I did not activate the Vela Surge. Still doing quite a lot of damage. Okay. 
He's on to us again. Okay, not bad. I thought it would hit him. He got killed by the impact damage already. <laughs> over not over thousand, over a hundred. I just hit sixty. Any news on the new Wonder Woman game? No, sadly not. But uh, I can't wait for it. I really need a better sharpshot bow. Um, yeah, you can already buy one, I think, at the Bulwark, which is actually kind of good. But the Arena one is uh, where you want to, like, spend your resources and stuff like that. Okay, so, as you might know, I don't like to play during night, because then we can't see a thing. Of course, it is needed for the Apex machines, but um, we don't need them yet for this uh, for this upgrade. Um, so, yeah, let's... Uh, restock. And uh, chill till morning. How do you unlock the purple bar? Yeah, it's the Valor Search. Don't, I think you have it at like the start of the game. But it increases if you have a higher level Valor Search. Okay. We do need the Frost Claw as well. So let's uh, go for the Frost Claw. But I like this location better. There are sometimes two frost calls there too, which is nice. And we need to to not hit his weak point. Ah, okay. That's kind of the, the downside of using this. This blast. We need to we need to webbing. We need to sack. But now we don't we can't have it anymore. At least it seems like it's broken, right? I don't think we got it. Oh. Yeah, we actually got it. So for some... Oh, I think because I triggered its shoulder. That's actually nice. I think there's not another one, right? There are sometimes two. Oh. You can equip and unlock the Valor Search or else it says unlock. You need to equip and unlock. Ah, for yeah. So you have to, of course, first... Get all the skills surrounding a Valor Surge. And then you have to equip it by holding square. And then uh, you can have it active. That's right. That's right. There is a shield Valor Surge. That's right. You have the, uh, over, uh, the over shield. Which is basically the shield weaver. Which is kind of nice. How did we get that extra skill point? Because I was at 8 before. Hmm. Curious. The arena? Oh, I don't know. Do we like level up? We can't level up anymore. So I don't know. Oh, we have to uh, travel back. Uh, fast travel spot. I'm playing through Zero Dawn again, and it's crazy how much things this game improves on. Yeah, I actually went back to uh, older Zero Dawn footage, and 
I always imagined in my head Zero Dawn looking like this, but going back to Zero Dawn, you really see that they improved a lot. Like, even of course, in terms of graphics, but also... I think one of the coolest things is that every weapon has, like, a lot of depth, and you might think at the first, ah, this weapon is not really that good, but then you play around with it more, and then you will notice that it's actually kind of nice. See, it's dead is without the Stealth Stalker. I do like thousand less damage. Don't want to hit the we don't want to hit the sec. Time for the warrior to get up close. More fun the warrior, of course. Really long concentration, like it can be in this. Cool down for a really long time. We got the claw striders now here too. <gasps> huh? He, he stepped on me and I died. Fair enough, fair enough. The they did give away the ultimate edition as well, by the way. For if you missed that. Like for a pretty long time, for like a few months. But yeah, even for 15 bucks, it's like a steal. That's a quite pretty big da damage uh, difference. Oh, I wanted to hit the chemistry on the back. I really like... They, they should have done that more. Like, with the Frost Claw and the Fire Claw not hitting the obvious weak spot to kill it. Because you need the material. That's just so cool. Okay, we we gotta k take care of these annoying. Claw Striders as well, Apex. Oh! That was a big boom. And by the way, wasting this ammo because you can easily get it back with the power shot fellow shirt so I will be switching to that in a moment to be down yeah there we go oh whoa this guy yeah Frost Claws and Fire Claws, they're really the toughest machine. And the Slaughter Spine are kind of crazy as well. Wow. Okay. Remember last week where we died many times on the uh, on the Fire Claw? I think there are two now. Are there two now? Am I seeing that correctly in, my, in the blurry view? Or? No, it's still one. It's still one. No, no. There's another one, right? No, it's the... Okay, let's uh, quickly kill it before it kills us. Let's get a little bit further away. Follow up immediately with, with another one. Ah, now I wasted the sack. But like this makes it so e so much easier to kill it. I'm winded. I need to get my stamina back. Because now it's like frozen. Takes a lot of damage. Yeah, we cannot do it like that. We can't do it like that. Like that, I don't have the 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 sack now. Okay, let's uh, take on the Thunder John in the meantime. Did you get the long range 100% tear bonus mod? It's amazing on the sharpshot bow. 100% tear bonus. That sounds like a lot. Uh, there he is. We have a very. Oh, we're gonna, I think he's like more an acid type, right? Frost claws, thick, yeah. One shot, like this is an almost upgraded legendary armor. Like this, 
uh, it does have minus fr freezing though, so I do think that matters. So maybe I, I should try the Tanakt. I'm gonna, you know what, let's do that. We're going back with another tactic after taking on the Thunderjaw again. Uh, I wanna switch to the power shots. So we can spam the, let's first try and get him. Uh, he's not really a fan of, of ice, as you can see on trees, so it's not really going to happen. <laughs> the amount of arrows in the disc launcher is kind of wild. Okay, let's get it on. Oh, and now with that buff, every time I roll, I will get damage. Yeah, I like rolling, so... I can waste some of my uh, my spikes because I am going to. Oh yes, that was a nice throw. Boom. Because I am getting my ammo back in a moment. I wish it was the machine gun. Yeah. Now, okay. Now we have to get some. Are like some machines nearby so I can get some feather. Okay, we got a burrow over there. Oh, it's just a. Uh, just a part. In the eye. Okay, I think it's time. Almost. Oh! That knocked him down. That's great. I think if I do like another one. It's always... Ah, sometimes it can be hard to, to find the... Uh, yeah, we got the full uh, fellow search. So, I started with zero of this. Huh? No ammo? That's weird. Boom. Oh, in the heart? Yeah. And we still got some of the Velocers left, which I like. Then you actually can... Yeah, we got the primary. I better loot all the carcasses here. That's but nice. I I it will actually stay active. So that will be nice when we go and encounter the... Uh... That will be nice when we encounter the frost in a moment. No way to turn off fellow searches. No, I wish you could, but I, I think they do that because it might be too OP. But this is the only one that doesn't deplete over time. You just have five shots, and when you uh, waste those five shots or when you use them, the fellow search is active. But even if I fast travel now back to the uh, to this, I still think it's active. Mate, this looks so fun. It is. Auto sprint is not turned on. I do have it for the mounts though. So, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna um, get a Claw Strider. Okay, we got the Apex variant running around there. So, we can't override that one. I hope the other one is not an Apex variant. I think he's clearly a normal one. So, yeah, we can use that to our advantage. Um, 
We can, of course, throw rocks, so we might want to do that. Or I think I might be able to sneak up to it. Rock. Gonna focus on the rock. That was a very nice rock. There. Yeah. <gasps> Don't look at me. There we go, and we're going for an aggressive. I want to have a fun, uh, a fun friend. Because what's what's gonna happen is he's going to take the attention away and focus on the frost claw. So send out your fireball. Okay, the tree blocked it. Still though, and we still have the uh, the power shot, so we can use that with sharp shot bow like this. 1500 damage, not bad. And this is really like watching Pokemon because we can like kind of... Whoa! Boom. Okay, he's having a hard time. That was super effective. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna save you. Go away. Come here. We also have extra damage while on the back of the mount, so that's nice. We're stuck in the tree though. Yeah, that, that, that's not helping. I don't think I can revive it. Okay, I can. But the Frost Claw is close. Okay, get back. Yeah. Oh, they did the roar at the same time. Look, now it's our turn. Whoa, he killed his own. So let's get our mount back up and then use it against the full squad. Once again, did not work. Okay, we got it just in time, just in time. Why does the spike thrower look like a fishing tool for? <laughs> I don't know. Go on the ground. Yes, there we go. And now it's our turn. Oh, why does he want to hug the trees all the time? See, I have other run on the mount. And it's on the ground again. Let's move away a bit. I think this one is about to break. If I'm able to hit it. this all day oh wow okay but now can we can kill it Yannis uh, no plans to stream uh, Elden Ring but never say never we did uh, Dennis did stream Elden Ring ar uh, around launch That was pretty wild, but uh, we made it. Thank, thanks to you, Lost Rider. 
I'm playing on very hard now, uh, Deepon. Playing on very hard now. Okay, we need one more kill. Let's do that a bit faster. Do you have... Do you use any purple we uh, weapons or legendary only? I do use some purple weapons. The Renegade Warrior Bow with Frost Ammo. Because a lot of uh, Renegade... Um, or there is no Warrior Bow with Frost Ammo. Only... Like every weapon type has one legendary weapon. Except for the Rope Caster. And the Hunter Bow has two. And uh, So I only use purple weapons... With like ammo that the legendary one doesn't have. Because... There's also like a the Forge Fall. You have the Forge Fall. There is another uh, a purple uh, shop shot bow which has like a better perk on it. But because legendary weapons have five mods instead of two or three on the purple if you fully upgrade them. That's a huge difference. Like two mod slots can enhance the damage way further than any perks on the purple weapon can. So if you have a purple weapon with the same ammo types as the legendary, the purple one is not useful at all. But if it has like other ammo type, like elemental type, that you want to use. Because I love using uh, the warrior bow to very quickly apply a status effect to a machine. Um, yeah, then that's why I do... Like that's why both my uh, purple weapons that I have are warrior bows. I also use them because one, you can quickly like shoot five arrows in one go. So very quickly apply the status effect. And it, it only costs regular ammo. Uh, and it doesn't like cost volatile sludge and stuff like that. So that's why I always like the the hunter bow or the warrior bows. Okay, I think we got two now. Because we got two, one over there, one over there. What we can do now is I wanna like make sure this Claw Strider is dead though. Okay, that was a waste. Come here, my pet companion, and fight for me. Like, attack this one. Oh, that was a direct hit. Frost claws are not really in the fight yet. Build up that spear. Make sure we have the the resonator blocks. So we can put that on the machine. But yeah, as you can see, pet companion versus just one machine, easily doable. Now we got the frost claw though. Might be a bit harder. Although my fire. Lost Rider, of course, can get the job done. Whoa, the damage, though. Look, he only has a few hits, and the Frost Claw is already dead. Very hard. So, really, 1v1, your pet companion is insane. But the moment there are, like, more pets running around, like, more machines to fight. Okay, he's, he's, he's going crazy now. I, I don't think I have to do anything. I think he will just, like, kill it. Look at the damage. I just have to dodge things. Oh, knocks it on the ground. Almost dead. Whoa! Swings to the right. What the heck are you doing, Claw Strider? Getting a little. And it's dead. I didn't have to do anything. And we got the. the okay, he, he's on a warpath now. He, wanna kill, he wants to kill everyone. fine with it okay okay he's half health now though but it's an apex cross claw yeah okay I can see why you're having trouble aiming for the ass oh no I hit my own machine I've got to head out thanks for the great stream as always hey faithful thanks for stopping by see you next time every Monday we do a horizon stream here on Twitch and YouTube. No, it's not New Game Plus. I wish it was. But uh, it's not announced yet. New Game Plus. My Claw Strider, it's having a hard time. If I, like, take all the hits and he will just. 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something here as well. Going for the shoulder so I can actually make sure that we got the freezing effect going. Meantime my claw strider is doing a tackle attack, pushing it on the ground. Very nice. Okay, so now I have a clear opening. Please, please. Okay. Apex Claw Strider one. Still does. It's really hard to, to hit the shoulders. Again, we don't want to hit his belly. Yeah, I think we can hit his ass. Get the crits in. There we go. Let's not forget to revive our machine mount. And the, and the nice part is that... If I like fast travel now, because we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do a, um, a a money farm now. If I summon my mount, he will have full health again. First time catching you live. Hey, Remus, good to see you. Oh, sorry, I'm uh, no, I'm still at work. I will have to get it later. Don't worry about it, crawling. Raptor actually showed me a lot of skills. Wait, Yor, it's Tuesday, not Monday. No, it's Monday. Don't, don't. <laughs> I will, s I will stop shock plasma fire freeze attacks. I find the shell snapper the most difficult enemy. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna show you how to take out a shell snapper in a moment. First, I want to kill some Bristol backs that should be close by. And then, and then we're ready for uh, for our adventure against the uh, Tremor Tusk. Because I, I need to build up that uh, that valor. It's close though. It's close. I saw your stream, a teammate streaming. Not you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They stream sometimes as well. Hit the canister, remove the component, and the Valor Search is up. So we can actually use it now. And I think we have the right tools. I'm not 100% sure. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna go for the machine damage though. I wanna have my machine do all the work. I am. Let's go and put the stealth hero. Just for that first, for that first attack. It's my first time seeing you on Twitch. Hey, Onop, good to you. Good that you're joining. Please use the one shot build. <laughs> Oh, we have a, an Apex. Oh, no, it's a regular one. Yeah, I want to use the one-shot build, but uh, yeah, we can we can do it. We can do it. Okay, then I have to tweak a, a few things. Machine damage goes away for the ranged uh, stealth ranged. Then I have to put the long-ranged mods on this one, which are over here. Although, again, we are on very hard. I recorded most of the one-shot build footage on normal. So, that's why it might not work, but we can try on the Tremor Tusk. Oh, no, but he's going to attack the moment I get off my mount. We do have uh, the full... Uh, yeah, we have to switch this as well to... Stealth Stalker. off this though okay let's see let's see if we're able to do it we're gonna park the <laughs> the mount here so he won't go after the ah no come back here 
No. Don't. Ah. That's why you don't want to have a... Ah, he's gonna shoot the fireball. Did he notice this already? Get away. Get away. Bad boy. You stay here. Don't move. Don't move. No. No, there he goes again. Okay. No! You, no, I need you. Come back. Whoa, we get, we have... A, yeah, that's your fault. That's, and he's down. No, 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 that's the... Okay. But I... I think he's like after my machine, but not after me. So I do, I do still think that I have the... The benefits, but we're gonna try. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's go here. See if we can actually make sure that the Tramortas doesn't see us anymore. So we can hopefully shoot another one of those. Give me, give me, give me that stamina. Stamina, please. Please. Ah! Ah, not in time. Oh, in the eye. Not bad, not bad. What's a good name for a claw strider? Bad boy, bad boy. At least mine. So yeah, we got the, the four uh, things from his... Uh, so we can then go to a random shop. Let's go to Thornmarsh. Sell it and upgrade it. That was pretty wild damage, right? And again, if you play on normal, you can insta-kill these machines with that. Whoa, the blight is still kind of weird on the performance mode, I think. Or maybe that's intended, but it does look kind of kind of weird. Chloe McStrider. <laughs> I like that, Travis. Bad class, yeah. Uh, we need the money. Sell it. Outlander. Outlander, a word. Uh, we're gonna sell. I only have four. That's not enough. 800? That was enough, right? For the upgrades. Oh, no. We're still... We're still... Like, another way you can very quickly do this is, of course, put the game on story mode. And then... Oh, we actually have some things that we can, like, sell. 53. Still not enough. Let's go for the large machine course. I always have quite a lot of those. So we're gonna sell 30. Yeah, now we're back in business. And let's upgrade our Tinker Sprite. Tanajaw Tail, Tremor Tusk Tusk. <laughs> I just sold those. Right. But yeah, we're gonna go to the Shell Snapper because people were having issues with that. I do need... Um, let's go to the... Um, where is my stash? Well, let's just go. I always go to the shelter. Santa Claus, no. <laughs> okay, that that's totally the best one. That's totally the best one. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get some of these. But really, spike thrower is key against the against them. Should I should I do it on on um on normal because then we can insta kill it. Shield wing, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a parachute in a way. More glider. Okay, let's uh, quickly kill those. With our mounted friends. And I'm gonna equip um, the machine damage again. So our friend can do some serious damage. That's this one. I'm gonna focus on this revenger first. I wanna, wanna get his, like, weapon. Yeah, you're gonna focus on 
So again, that is nice if you have the target arrow, targeting arrow. Um, now my, I, I marked this target, so now my Claw Strider will attack. Even though the other machines are closer, my Claw Strider will attack uh, the normal Ravager. And hopefully shoot like a fireball or something. Okay. Taking a bit too long, so we're gonna take matter in our own hands. Here, drop down everyone. Drop down. I'm not sure if the behemoth likes to drop. Ah. Okay, my claw strider is having a hard time. Yeah. That's really the downside. When there are too many machines, having a, uh, a robot pet, not really nice. They do have the gun. Yeah, they do have a lot of damage already. You can very easily kill behemoths, but their attacks are so annoying. I can switch it up. And they also ignore. Ah! They also ignore smoke bombs on the higher difficulty. Okay, there we go. Get up and run! gun on the ground. Oh, I thought I was gonna jump over that, but sadly that's not possible. Really, with the armor? Oh, for some reason I dodged that. I'm not sure how... to go back for my mount otherwise it's dead please hey but awesome content i'm at scalding spear i'm in need of better gear still using the green ones suggestions at scalding spear ah my mount is dead there's a quest at the painter um if you do that it's called the deluge uh, if you do that, you get a really good purple armor. It's like one of the best outfits in the game. And it's free. So you don't have to, you, you just have to follow the side quest. This was bound to happen. This that that fight did not we went well. So yeah, do it. Do it. Uh yeah, we were what we were doing even. I kinda forgot. I kinda forgot. Uh I think we were Right, we're going for the shell stepper, but I needed some Valor Surge, so I thought it was a good idea to fight against harder machines. So we're going to some Bristol backs. <whistles> I finished the list yesterday, and the armor is really great, right? Wolf Kissed? That's really one of the best uh, uh, early outfits you can get. Also, at Scalding Spear, you can buy the Tanakh Skirmisher, which is really good. And uh, you can buy some purple weapons as well. But what you can also do is follow the um, is follow the races. If you're at Scalding Spear, you can already do all the, all the races. One starts over here. And after that, you unlock the races for every, like, location. And that has you, like, go to this one, and then to this one, and then back here. And this already gives you a legendary bow as well, which I'm actually using right now. Like, that's really one of my favorite and best weapons in the game. And you only have to win some races. Like, you don't even have to kill, like, a big machine or something. I love that attack from the... From them, by the way. Yeah, it's not gonna hit me. Nuke down my machine. The Bristol bags. No. Okay. 
we did have some valor, not enough though, so we have to kill more machines. Uh, I'm grading for the parts now, nice. I just need to do the final race. Yeah, Julia, do totally do it because it gives you that weapon. The final race can be tricky though. Totally use the L1, uh, L2 attack where you stun enemies. And make sure that you have your mount. It was also a tip I, sh I shared in the video. Here you see auto sprint on mount. If you have that on, then your mount will always sprint. And that's like really nice during the race. Okay, let's go to the behemoth side. If we quickly kill that, we might have enough for um, the one-hit kill snail snapper. Oh, hit them both in one shot. Boom. Wow, he's protected. Yeah, see if you can kind of start the fight. If he doesn't have like annoying machines, you can very easily kill a behemoth on very hard. And I just love using this uh, this bow from uh, from that uh, from that final race because like it does a lot of damage, as you can see. I also got crit chance runes on it. I think I still do though, I'm not sure if I switch that. But uh, it doesn't cost anything. It costs metal shards and uh, rich wood. So yeah, that's pretty easy to get. I need a few more kills. I'm not sure if I have my, my crit runes on it. Uh, yeah, I actually do. We have a mount by the way as well. Help me out here. I think we're getting like. Okay, there he is. Okay. Time to follow up. Now we kind of have to focus on the lights. See, they're already on the ground, which is nice. Yeah, we got the full fellow sword, so we can go after I kill this one. Oh, this one is almost dead too. Okay, that one is full health, so we're gonna skip that one, get the loot, get out. The last race is locked until you do a main mission though. Yeah, you need to do the Sea of the Sands, but that is like one of the three main missions. It's like pretty early on. Uh, yeah, Shell, shell Snapper time. I do want to go to a shelter first because I cannot fast travel right now because I'm on a mount. Because I like that you can fast travel while in combat. Like we should be able to go here now. First three raids are easy. I struggled with the last one. Had to try it like three times. Ah, that's not that's not that bad. I hate racing games too. That behemoth got violated. <laughs> that's how we roll. Okay, I'm gonna go back to daytime and then we're gonna fight a shell snapper. Or actually fight. Uh, let's uh, see about that. I've been trying your... I've been trying your Renegade Bow Critical Strat in my very hard playthrough. Julia, let me know if it works. I went with the highest level one first. Uh, okay. I finished that quest yesterday. We'll definitely equip it. It's my... Still my map is empty. I need to get the sub... Yeah, yeah. You totally need to go for the, the tall next. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can, like, kill these burrowers. Okay. Are we, like, well equipped, though? Uh, do we have the right damage? Yeah. Ah, that's why I mean, my machine was not performing so well. I did not have the, uh equipped 
Uh, I think we're I think we're almost ready. Overdraw potion. Okay, let's do it. Let's kill these these burrows first, then. Slaughter spines are easy to be honest. Try them on very hard. <laughs> yeah, because you're already playing on very hard. I don't know. Without the right build, they can be quite tricky. Oh well, we're already going for now. Okay, there he is. Hello. Oh yeah. And sad part is, this is a really sad part. I, I hope. Uh, I think we, we should be fine. There are two! There are two. What the heck? Okay, that's the first. Come here. Don't attack them. Don't be a bad claw. Santa Claus. Yeah, we're, we're going for Santa Claus. Okay, they're, they're, they're like, where the heck is he? Or she? Come on, dudes. I'm ready. I don't want to waste my... No! Come back. Okay, I think we, we're gonna waste it because they're onto us. Please, give me the question mark. We can still try it though. Okay, that tree is gonna blow up. Hmm. We kind of wasted the tactic. That was still a nice hit though. See that? The the explosion from from the spike throw is just insane on these enemies. And now just riding around. Oh oh oh! Never mind. Ah, I'm frozen now. I do like this attack though. Oh. They weren't onto me, and then they were like. Okay. It's acid. Okay, we're going for acid. Hold on, still. <laughs> That's a lot of acid. Likely by the point I have him, he's gonna go on the ground. Claw Strider is helping out though, which is nice. Appreciate that, appreciate that. Okay, let's go for the shot to bow here. Why did we also have two? I never had two in this location. Okay, he's gonna go down again. Okay, boom. Oh. What are you doing, Santa Claus? Get up. If you're early, you don't want to be wondering. Fast travel mid-combat. Really? What's your ambition on fast travel mid-combat? I love it. <laughs> I hate not having being able to fast travel mid combat like as a screen does it. And I kinda hate that. Always scared when these things like fly towards you. Oh Where's the other one? Is one already dead or am I gonna get surprised in one, two, three? That is a big boy. Oh, 
Oh, there are still two. Oh, hello. You should totally focus on one first before going first the other, but where's the... Charge up the spear. You can actually block that with the toughened uh, fellowship, which is nice. So yeah, we, we do have the burrow over there. Now it's time for the shell snapper. Come here. Oh, my mount is dead. Who's there? Did we kill it though? I don't see the body. <laughs> My luck is to get everyone's attention at once. R.I.P. Santa Claus, yeah. Good knowing you, Santa Claus. It runs pretty good. Some longer loading screens, but I don't know about that. If you have long loading screens, because I did not know about this until a long time as well. You want to turn off... Uh... This one, standby screen mode. Because it's normally on informative and then you wait until the text of the tip is displayed and then you continue. So then the load times are like 5-8 seconds. If you do immediate... You can like really go here. And it like... Fast travels in no time. There we are. How big is the map? It's big, Baljar. Do you think they will add ghost levels? I hope so, class. Can't wait for New Game Plus for this game, me too. I'm waiting for the game to go on sale. Yeah, I'm not sure when they will do that. Usually Sony games take a pretty long time. Ah, uh, on PS4, sorry. I bought the game. I bought a PS4 just for this game. It's worth it though. The PS4 version still runs great. Wanna end the stream here? Hope you had a good time. Uh, we'll be back next week with more Horizon stuff. And of course, tomorrow will be a Valhalla stream. It will be a bit later, though. And that will have a good reason. So I will see you 24 hours from now. That's around the time when I will go live with Valhalla. Hope you had a good one. And uh, yeah, check out our Horizon video that's dropping later today. And of course, the video from yesterday where we one-shot every machine in the game. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Good